The rapid proliferation of wireless technologies has led to ubiquitous exposure to radio frequency electromagnetic fields, or RF EMF. This has sparked considerable scientific inquiry into the potential health risks associated with RF EMF radiation, particularly from cell phones. Concurrently, emerging research suggests that RF EMF could hold untapped therapeutic potential, particularly in the treatment of cancer. This dual nature of RF EMF, as both a potential health hazard and a therapeutic tool, warrants a comprehensive examination. Numerous studies have investigated the potential health risks of RF EMF radiation, particularly from cell phones. Key research projects and their findings are summarized below. The Interphone study, one of the largest epidemiological studies on cell phone use and brain tumors, found a possible association between heavy cell phone use and an increased risk of glioma, a type of brain cancer. The study highlighted the need for further investigation into long-term heavy use and its potential health impacts. The research led by Dr. Leonard Hardell in Sweden consistently found an increased risk of brain tumors, such as glioma and acoustic neuroma, associated with long-term use of cell phones and cordless phones. These studies emphasize the potential carcinogenic effects of RF EMF radiation. The Serenat study, conducted in France, also reported an increased risk of glioma associated with cell phone use. The findings were particularly significant for users with high cumulative call time. The U.S. National Toxicology Program, or NTP, conducted large-scale animal studies that found clear evidence of tumors in the hearts of male rats exposed to high levels of RF EMF, as well as some evidence of tumors in the brains and adrenal glands of male rats. These findings suggest that RF EMF radiation can indeed be carcinogenic. Complementing the NTP study, the Ramazzini Institute in Italy found increased incidences of schwannomas or tumors in the hearts of rats exposed to RF EMF at levels similar to those emitted by cell phones. This study underscores the potential health risks even at lower exposure levels. The Reflex Project, funded by the European Union, showed that RF EMF radiation could cause DNA damage and other cellular changes that are precursors to cancer. These findings indicate that RF EMF can induce biological effects that might contribute to carcinogenesis. The Bioinitiative Report, a comprehensive review by an international group of scientists, concluded that there is substantial evidence of health risks from RF EMF exposure including increased cancer risk, neurological disorders, and effects on the reproductive system. The report advocates for stricter exposure guidelines to protect public health. Dr. Henry Lai's work has demonstrated that RF EMF can cause DNA strand breaks in rat brain cells, suggesting potential genetic damage from exposure. His research supports the hypothesis that RF EMF radiation can have significant biological effects. Therapeutic Potential of RF EMF Radiation While the health risks of RF EMF radiation are well documented, emerging research indicates that RF EMF can also have therapeutic benefits, particularly in cancer treatment. Recent advancements have shown that RF EMF can exert biological effects beyond thermal mechanisms, opening new avenues for medical applications. Non-thermal effects of RF EMF. Traditional views held that the primary biological effect of RF EMF was tissue heating. However, recent studies suggest that non-thermal effects, such as the modulation of cellular signaling pathways and disruption of cellular homeostasis can also occur. These non-thermal effects are believed to play a significant role in the therapeutic potential of RF EMF. FDA-approved therabionic treatment. One of the notable advancements in RF-EMF therapy is the FDA-approved therabionic treatment, 
This therapy employs RF radiation at power levels up to 1,000 times lower than those emitted by cell phones. It is used to treat inoperable liver cancer by inducing non-thermal interactions at the cellular or molecular level. These interactions include resonance effects, disruption of cellular signaling, and potential modulation of the immune system. The success of therabionic treatment challenges the traditional view that non-ionizing cell phone radiation is biologically inert, except for its heating properties. Non-thermal anti-cancer effects. Recent studies have explored the potential non-thermal anti-cancer effects of RF-EMF radiation. These effects include mitotic arrest and growth inhibition. RF-EMF can induce mitotic arrest, preventing cancer cells from dividing. This leads to growth inhibition and, ultimately, cancer cell death. Induction of autophagy and apoptosis. RF-EMF exposure has been shown to trigger autophagy, which is cellular self-digestion, and apoptosis, which is programmed cell death in cancer cells. These processes help eliminate cancer cells without affecting healthy cells. Ion channel activation and membrane potential changes. RF-EMF can activate specific ion channels in cancer cells, leading to changes in membrane potentials and disrupting cellular homeostasis. This can result in cancer cell death while sparing healthy cells. Case studies and clinical trials. Several clinical trials and case studies have demonstrated the efficacy of RF-EMF therapy in treating various cancers. For example, studies on glioblastoma, a type of brain cancer, have shown that RF-EMF therapy can significantly reduce tumor growth and improve patient outcomes. These findings highlight the potential of RF-EMF as a complementary treatment for cancer. Mechanisms of action. The exact mechanisms by which RF-EMF exerts its therapeutic effects are still being investigated. However, several hypotheses have been proposed. Resonance effects, RF-EMF may induce resonance effects in cellular structures, leading to mechanical disruptions that selectively affect cancer cells. Disruption of cellular signaling RF-EMF can interfere with cellular signaling pathways, disrupting processes essential for cancer cell survival and proliferation. Immune system modulation, RF-EMF exposure may enhance the immune system's ability to recognize and attack cancer cells, providing an additional mechanism for its anti-cancer effects. Balancing risks and benefits. The dual nature of RF-EMF radiation, its potential to both harm and heal, necessitates a balanced approach in its application and regulation. Several considerations are essential for achieving this balance. Strict exposure guidelines. Given the potential health risks, it is crucial to establish and enforce strict exposure guidelines for RF-EMF radiation. This includes limiting exposure levels, especially for vulnerable populations such as children and pregnant women. Continued research. Ongoing research is vital to fully understand the mechanisms of RF-EMF's effects on biological systems. Both the potential risks and therapeutic benefits need to be thoroughly investigated to inform safe and effective use. Personalized medicine. The therapeutic use of RF-EMF should be tailored to individual patients based on their specific medical conditions and susceptibilities. Personalized approaches can maximize therapeutic benefits while minimizing potential risks. Public awareness and education. Raising public awareness about the potential health risks and benefits of RF-EMF radiation is essential. Education campaigns can help individuals make informed decisions about their exposure to RF-EMF and encourage safe practices. Conclusion. The body of research on RF-EMF radiation presents a complex picture of both risks and potential benefits. On one hand, numerous studies have demonstrated the potential health risks associated with long-term exposure to RF-EMF radiation from cell phones, including increased cancer risk. On the other hand, emerging research highlights the untapped therapeutic potential of RF-EMF, particularly in cancer treatment through non-thermal mechanisms. Striking a balance between these dual aspects requires strict exposure guidelines, continued research, personalized medical approaches, and public awareness. By adopting a cautious yet open-minded approach, we can harness the therapeutic potential of RF-EMF while safeguarding public health against its potential risks.